page of weed. I got another one from February 2025. This is um, from nurses in Shanghai, China, who looked at why neuro patients fail activation. Here's the question. What's the right number of extubation failures? If it's zero, that means you're not trying often enough. And if you have 100%, then you're not looking at the right patients. Here's what they did. 156 patients who were extubated, they had a 15% failure rate. It feels a little high to me, but there's some really cool stuff to unpack. Overview of the findings, they found that if you have a lower GCS, and if you need suctioning more than once an hour, you're more likely to fail. That's not surprising, doesn't, doesn't get any of us excited. We knew that, we've known that for years. But look at table one. I encourage everybody, look at table one. In their practice, they were extubating patients who had a GCS less than nine. And they were extubating patients who needed more than one hour, uh, more than once an hour suctioning. Now, and, and I grew up believing that, that that was verboten. You couldn't do that. It would be crazy to try to extubate someone with a GCS of 70. But look at table one. They had 14 patients, for instance, that needed frequent suctioning, and seven of them were successfully extubated. I would have believed the number would have been zero. They had patients with an, a mean GCS of less than nine who were successfully extubated, 130 something. There's information to unpack here, and I've got some, uh, I've got a way to sweeten the deal. This article is our CNPD article. That means you can get continuing education hours for, for reviewing this manuscript probably some stroke hours for those of you who need it. And um, it is in the February issue of the Journal of Neuroscience Nursing. I hope you read it and uh, let me know your thoughts.